All right, guys, before I post the stocks, we're going to watch in chat tomorrow. Um, let me quickly recap today uh, a few trades that I want to talk about. So let's do that. MGRX. Okay, you look at that and say, well, long has got burned. Well, not if you're a day trader, right? So let's go to five minute candles. I don't have this done very well. Let's see. There it is. All right. Um, after this spike right here, it topped out at. 75 cents. I looked at the daily and the pre-market high, I believe was 79 cents. Um, so that was interesting to me, right? So basically, and then it came back down. So I basically called it back through 75, which was right here. Looks a little extended, but not when you get that pullback and you know 79 is another catalyst, it's the pre-market high. Um, I'm going to double check that though to make sure I'm right about that. Yeah, there's the pre-market high, 79 cents. So, all right, let me get that back off there. I don't like that when I do the videos. Um, so there you go. So I called it, it came back down, called it back through 75 and went pretty damn quickly to a buck 12. That is a great percentage gain. Um, I'm a relatively new think or swim user and I don't love it for the pennies um, because it, the, the ladder takes them out to four digits and I just despise that, but whatever. I'm um, getting used to it. I'm getting used to, um, you know, handling it and all that but anyway that was one of them um mmat popped right out of the gate and topped out early at 361 pulled back and miguel gave the idea like second mouse back through 350 right half number inflection point with the earlier high still above so you've got another potential catalyst so the 350 break happened right there and again pretty quickly to 419 i thought that was a pretty cool post by miguel um, Moderna late in the day, MRNA. Um, Kevin P kind of had this cup and long handle. And speaking of whole number inflection points, he called it over, see 142 right there, called it over 142, which I think might have happened right there. Worst case stop was 50 cents below, did not get hit, and it ended up going out almost at the highs of the day at 143.87. Why 142? Because it was a whole number with the earlier high of day still above, 36 cents above. So you've got a potential catalyst. And you've got the previous day's high at 142.79, right? So you had two catalysts stacked above and it took them both out. I thought that was a pretty damn good find uh, by Kevin P because it wasn't even on our watch list. So there's a few things from chat today and bring up the spy again real quick. Let's go to the daily. And then, all right, let's talk about what we're watching for tomorrow. Let me throw this up real quick. Um, for new members in chat, please read that. Pause the video and read it. It's a great explanation of what we do. You know, like I'll post something like an inside day. I post my charts at night on Stock Twits and Twitter. And invariably, I get somebody saying, so it's an inside day. Like, you know, are you, are you, are you long? Where are you going to sell? Like everyone assumes I'm in something because I'm posting a chart. I'm not in any of them. <laughs> you guys know that, right? I don't even hold my wife overnight. Um, but just so you're clear, uh, if you're a newer member, just understand that. These are stocks I'll be watching tomorrow. I'm in cash every night. Hopefully we catch a trade in some of these tomorrow. All right, so MGOL, I'll start with that one. Had this big breakout um, and closed off its highs, but definitely with that kind of volume, we could have a follow through set up tomorrow. MMAT, I would love this like through four tomorrow, especially if it gaps up a little bit, but uh, you know, with, the, with today's high being 419. Um, so that one makes the list. NEGG still kind of cup and handle here. I like it over a buck twenty, especially if the um, meme stocks get going. FLJ, I'm not in love with this because a lot of bag holders from this day, but it looked like it was completely rolling over and then found a bid today. Um, I didn't get this, but I know Kevin P made a call in and I can't remember. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I thought he called uh, maybe over yesterday's high. It, it was a good pop. I was jealous because I didn't get it, but um, it's certainly worth keeping an eye on because it held up better than I thought it would. Um, so that one makes the watch list. BDRX, closing way off its highs, but still big volume. Maybe a follow through day tomorrow. LIDAR, L-I-D-R. Um, this thing uh, really, really strong and absolutely ripped by the way in after hours. Um, it went to 569 in after hours. Um, I did kind of hang out after hours and catch a decent trade in that. Um, and now it's back to 432. But either way, we'll see if it's gapping in the morning. Either way, this is a powerful chart. 
feel like I maybe need to go out to a year just so you can kind of see. This thing's holding up really well. All right, so this one goes on watch. NKGN, inside day after yesterday's um, kind of strong move. Speaking of meme stocks, KOSS is probably my favorite looking meme stock. So if they start to rip, this will be my go-to. Um, I like this pop yesterday to 550, right? So there's a half number. Um, and then today, an inside day, topped at 532 today um, and 695 on the crazy day. So if the memes get going, this is probably my favorite of them. VFS, let me just zoom in a little bit here. Um, remember, I called it long yesterday, right about there. We had a nice trade in it. I don't love the fact that it's almost round tripped from yesterday's move, but either way, it's still really strong from where this rally started, which is down here. So this is still just a partial pullback. I am going to treat it as a potential bounce play tomorrow. Although you guys know I'd rather see a couple days down. CGC, I've just had it on watch since, uh, since this volume spike here, pulled back for a few days. I'm just going to keep it on the watch list, but I'm, you know, I'm not in love with it. OKLO, OK, just another red day. So I'm still looking for a bounce play setup in that one. ASTS, I'm putting this on bounce watch. It had a massive three-day move, and then today's starting to roll over. Again, I'd like to see another red day, maybe retest this breakout area right here, so maybe somewhere down here. But um, sometimes you get one red day in a strong stock, and then it's off to the races again the next day, right? So this one does go on bounce watch for tomorrow. FFIE, I don't know, kind of a wild card. Everybody's, everybody saw what this thing did. Um, I don't know, went from a dime to, uh, I don't know, almost four bucks, and now you got three days lower although the last two are inside of this big nasty day i'm just going to treat it like a bounce play um i won't take it with size but if it sets up i'll probably try a trade in it you guys know how we play bounce plays ipw really big move from like 50 cents to 348 now you got a couple red days on lower volume so i'm treating that like a bounce play and then lastly rzlt there's the daily as i'm talking to you it's trading at 450 in after hours because they had news. So if the, if the gap holds up, certainly gonna be a gap play that we watch tomorrow. Um, all right, that's enough for me. I will see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a good night.